Welcome back, everyone. Now we're gonna go into the inner sanctum. Are you seeing this? It's fantastic. Yeah. Let's make sure we save it too. That we we don't uh, have to re redo all that work. Inner Sanctum. At least we're out of the outside world. This frost resistance, cool. These are the Extra Magica. Whoa. Oh, he he broke these guys open. That's cheeky. Cool. What is an ice spear? Or ice, uh... See, that's a lot of money right there, though. That's a lot of money to sell that for. If I have to, I'm going to drop some items here. Yeah, drop the ice spike. Drop ice spikes, ice spear. Cool. That is cool. Spell Tome of Ice Spear. Cool. You gonna break open? Okay, you're not. Some weapon out, cause I guarantee they're gonna bust open every time. Nice try. Some healing potions just in case. As you can see, I'm not really scared whether or not they come out, because they're not that tough. Ice spikes. Look at that. There's another one. What's my inventory like? Let well, me we get the room for it. Goodbye. At least the paralyzing ability works on them pretty well, still. Speaking of that, we need to recharge some stuff here. First gets the bow, because the bow is uh, of importance because it charges all my other weapons. Necklace of minor, a major health. Cool. Yeah. 
Oh, you're busted open. So what's this uh, necklace of major health? It's an appeal. 40 points of health. Whoa, that's nice. Elven War Axe. Nah, I'm not worried about that. Bunch of skeletons. Circuit of underwater breathing. over here. Look at that. That's the chapel area. So that's where we're supposed to go. So this is the elves, huh? Oh, there's nothing better here anyway. Yep. Okay, we can get going then. I didn't want to take a chance of missing anything. And we did level up, but we'll save it up because it does instantly heal you. So in case this does get bad, I want to be able to heal instantaneously. But all the vampire stuff is kind of hindering. Let's check to see whether or not that is still in effect. No, okay, it's not. The status effects are not affected right now. It's just fire weaknesses is, is available. So I gotta be careful with anything with fire. You cannot go that way. Huh. Just in case things get bad, I'd summon a, uh... Frost act or not. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end! Who's there? You knew I heard you. Shot by something. Of effort, huh? Effort. Delay nothing. Re Death. Resupply him again. Watch out! He's moving down the sea. What? 
Whoa! Ah, dang. Oh. Did I die? Yeah, I died. Ah. Oh. Ah, dang it. Let's run round two now. I don't know what to really use here. It's hard to choose. A bow is definitely not the answer. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? Ah! You've done exactly as I predicted. You brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Stamina. We have nothing for stamina. Mm, guess not. Generate a little bit.
hell? Come on. What is going on? What is going on here? Oh my word. Apparently I can't use shouts. Ooh. Um. I'm trying to decide what to really do right now. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl! I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire, and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire? Ariel's bow? It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single, final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Um, and... Done and done. <laughs> this is Sparta! Oh, he landed down in a dragon pit over here in the corner. Somewhere down there. 
I'll have to go find that body. <laughs> I'll just show you guys the body. That's funny to see where it landed. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame, really. What? What are you talking about? Uh, he was a vampire. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Please, take the bow. It's yours. What can you tell me about this bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Using blood? Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Okay. Farewell, friend. May the warmth of Oriel it's provide you strength. not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. What do we do now? Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. Then we kill him before he kills us. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Let's face him together. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. The res resolution one? I think it is. Oh. Can't see nothing. Yep, it is. Right there's the building, so it's over that way somewhere. We're gonna end the video here soon. And we will be confronting the Kindred Judgment. But first, we're going to go see about this elf that fell from the top of that building all the way down. Apparently his body is going to be laying somewhere, most likely, because I just shouted it off like Sparta. Oh, that's right, you can't summon bull crappity here. It's BS you can't summon. I mean, if it's solid enough to walk on, it should be solid enough to summon on. Let's find out where his body went. That's the thing. I have no clue where it probably landed. Right there is where he probably would have fell off from. Oh, there he is. 
he slammed hard on her, didn't he? You were a good guy. It's a shame you were corrupted. You were a challenge. You managed to kill me once. And I commend you on that. And for that, you deserve a good reward. And your reward is a nice watery graveyard. At least, at least you're buried in some way, you know what I mean? Goodbye. Okay. And I'll see you guys probably in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope that epic battle up there was pretty cool for you guys. And pretty much that's about it. My inventory is quite full, so we I probably will stop at a my house. Drop off drop off some staffs. Because I might give it to my new my other partner once this quest is complete. So we don't have to have her with us. We can go sell some stuff, get some cash brought in. Uh, keep collecting ignits of some, of some some nature just to help either advance the house more or to help our blacksmithing more. Try to work on and create some stuff for the uh, ores, for the iron ores and turn them into gold so I can start making gold stuff. May Ariel's glow shield you from your enemy. Woohoo. So what does Ario's thing do anyway? You you are ten percent more effective with missile weapons. Okay, so it's, it's like it's basically saying with bows and stuff, you can pretty much have a ten percent increased damage. So that, that's pretty cool. I like that. But here, I'll end the video here, guys, so you don't have to watch me do all this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that if you enjoyed all this. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will face uh, the Vampire Lord. Bye.